So a lot of Mexicans are a little bit more laid back about the mission rules. I mean, because they're laid back people in general, and um, which is really good in a lot of ways. It just like a lot of people are really open and they'll give you time and. Um, but, but yeah, so like with something like the mission where obedience is, is an important part of, um, the mission experience, uh, and not necessarily because like the point is, cause, cause I realized by the end that the point isn't to obey every rule. It, it like is, you're, you are supposed to do your best to obey every rule, but I think that the, you're not supposed to get like the takeaway isn't obey every rule. The takeaway is like, is understanding the importance and necessity of repentance. Because sometimes I felt like there were too many, there's so many rules that it was almost impossible to keep them all every single day. And because things happen and, and, and I realized like, you know, the, I'm not, you know, gonna, gonna burn or like the spirit isn't gonna gonna run away just because we get home a couple minutes late or um but but it's about trying harder and trying to be better and saying okay we didn't make it today we'll we'll plan and do better and and say and pray and say sorry and and it's understanding that repentance process because it's that process outside of the mission that um which helps us achieve salvation and of like, and that's how you get, become a better person. So, um, it was really stressful for me at first because like obedience was like, I really wanted to just like be perfect, but it's okay not to be perfect, but it's important to remember repentance and to keep trying, uh, to be better. But, um, so, um, so I related to obedience the, one of the mission rules was changed. In almost every mission, you're not supposed to go into a house without a man if there's a woman home. Um, but they changed that, that rule for some reason. Um, oh, because men usually get home later uh, from work and women are home all day. And so they changed the rule and they said, well, you can go in if it's just a woman. And so when I got to the mission, that's what we did. And something happened, of course, a missionary went home and and the rules changed so um but it was very difficult because you would think everybody would just be like okay it's changed but no like the change happened and things kind of kept on going the way they were to the point where i was like maybe things didn't really change maybe the president didn't mean that exactly or something but um time goes on and i the more i talk with the president and the more times I hear, I realize this is something he wants to happen now and that he is extremely serious about. And so my entire mission, that was a thorn in my side. Goodness, man, it was so annoying because people fought it, fought me on that rule. My entire mission, you would think it would just be, uh, and sometimes it wasn't easy. I would be, you know, you're in a place where there's 20 members in a branch. That's hard. It's not easy to do that. Um, it's not as easy as it is here. And so, and so people, a lot of missionaries would be like, well, they make excuses, exceptions. And I would say, no, no exceptions, no excuses. We're not supposed to do it. So we're not going to do it. And so sometimes we did outside. Sometimes we'd go back home. Sometimes, um, you know, uh, there are times that we had to go to the church, you know, when there was, um, when there are only like three sisters to give that were giving us food, um, and not a lot of young men to accompany us. And so, um, that was hard. That was legitimately hard. My entire mission, and even to the, my last area, I got there, they hadn't even heard of the rule. I, I start telling sisters, they freak out, they start questioning me and I, of course, they ask the mission president and they realize that it's a thing I'm like, man, I can't get a break. Um, but, but I don't regret it. And, um, and I, I went from, I've gone back and I still, people, they remember me and they say, I, I remember you because you were obedient, you know, and they remember these things. And, uh, 
and and not obedient in a bad way, but and but uh, you can I can see their eyes and see that they appreciated the example uh, and the diligence. You know, you can tell they appreciated it. So that was something you know you got to be aware of that you're gonna have companions that are gonna want to you know slide a little bit, um, but and you're gonna have companions that want to do the right thing. But you just gotta just gotta be strong. And even when people, even the members, don't want to do don't want to do it. Um, you just got to be strong.